In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make trestles in Blender fast. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, the file to download is in the link in the description down below. Let's select this default cube, right click and click, wait, press tab, go into edit mode. Press one to be in vertex select, right click and merge vertices at center. Press numpad seven, let's try that again, to be in top orthographic view, press shift A and click we can press tab, go into object mode for the time being, press shift A and add a reference image. You'll find the reference image in the link in the description down below. And we're going to use this. Let me just put this in place. GZ minus one. Object data properties of the image. Put this in the back, make it transparent. 0 0.5 should be perfect. Numpad seven. And let's make sure it's not selectable. And there you have it. We are now ready to move forward. Now you can choose any one of these trestles. And I'm not going to be boring and use a chain for <laughs> ferret or whatever this is called. It's too easy. I will do a Chelsea. So with your vert selected, this cube, single vert, press G to grab it and put, put it in place. Let's start at the top here. So it's somewhere over here. And I'm going to do the difficult part first because it's the longest. I'm going to press E. Well, I'm going to press tab, go into edit mode, select this, press E, and then press Y to keep it straight. Take it to about there. And then I'm going to press E, take it to about here. I'm going to select both these, right click, subdivide, and I'm going to up this amount here to 10. I'm going to select the single vert. I'm going to do it on proportional editing. I'm going to press G. I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel down so it's only affecting the verts that I wanted to affect. I'm going to turn off proportional editing now and I'm just going to move things into place where I feel that they would be appropriate. The reason why you take your time with this specific step is because this is the most important step. Everything else is kind of almost automated, so to speak. So this is the only part that you wanna take your time and get it right, at least on a 2D perspective, and you'll be a-okay. Okay, it's looking good enough for me. We select this, we press E, drop it about yeah, and this doesn't seem to be straight again, so I'm gonna right click and subdivide, take this up to about three should be enough, select this, turn on proportional editing, press G, scroll the mouse wheel in. There we go. And I might just need to move things in place so that they look a little bit better. Turn off proportional editing. Press G. And grab that and chuck that over there. Try and get this more straightened out. Yeah, it's good enough for me. Select this edge here. Now we want to press E to about there, E to about here, E to about here. Select these two points, right click subdivide, one point is more than enough G to grab it. And you kind of just want to create this. shape accurately so we know it almost has a step here like that there you go now it's easy so now we just press e y bring it all the way down to about yeah zoom in g y good enough for me e x chuck it all the way to about yeah and then we just press 
EY, take it all the way to the top. G Y and what we could do is turn on vertex and now we press G Y holding control when your mouse is hovered over this area and then click and this way it will lock into place so it's perfectly level and you can just select these two and press F and just like that if we press tab go into object mode we have our perfect shape for our trestle. Now we want to press object, convert to, curve. Now that cube is now curve and we're going to rename this Chelsea trestle. Enter. And now we can press shift A, curve, and we could use a Bezier curve, I guess, as an example, S5 to scale this out a bit. And perhaps just for fun, tab edit mode. We should select this edge here. Press E, Y. And then we just rotate this. Rotate 90. We select this rotate 90 personally I don't like that I'm going to just try and tell you what I'm going to delete this shift A use a path S5 to scale the path tab to go into edit mode select this edge here and just press E Y and then select these parts here subdivide Ramp this up so it's super sharp, so we can see the trestle hit a corner. At the same time, we could make this a little bit round, so we can see how it looks when it's sharp and how it looks when it goes round. I'll leave it like that. Now select your Bezier curve over here, go to the Object Data Properties, go to Object, and select your Chelsea Trestle um, Curve object. And just like that, we've created that exact trestle. You can see how it looks when it's sharp, and you can see how it looks when it's going around a curved surface. And in a property, this will look amazing. Uh, if I press tab, go into edit mode, and I select these verts just to bring them out a bit. Hold in shift, G. G X okay I'll just leave it like that but you get the idea anyways I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make trestles in blender uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe